Hello everybody and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival with me, Squidoodle. Like, guys, hope you're having a, an amazing day. We've got a very cool episode planned. But let's bring the shout outs back. So I want to give a shout out to this guy who left a comment on YouTube. This comment made me laugh so much. This comment comes from Slothman and they said, I finally come to terms with the fact that Squid in this series is basically just a mental greengrosser. <laughs> I don't know, it just made me laugh so much. Me, I'm just an absolute maniac and I love selling me fruit and veg. I love it. But that is not what we're doing today. So I thought we'd do something different. We're going to take a break from farming. We're going to have a little bit of a different episode. And we're going to try to build ourselves a raft slash speedboat. So I think I've got enough metal-ish to build like one or two thrusters. I'm going to loot this place, even get a few more components. Then we need to go and get ourselves some embers. And then we can start crafting and toying around with some raft ideas and some raft shapes and whatnot. Uh, and just see how it goes. So if you do go want to enjoy today's video guys please smash like <laughs> oh i was really hoping that guy was gonna drop himself a circuit board then but uh yeah let's get into it so let's just quickly loot this place it's respawned this place is right near the packing station and it's kind of one of the best areas to be honest we get loads and loads of chests here we're getting component cables for days we're getting gas, which I absolutely love. Uh, an amazing thing as well is when you die, you actually respawn with your spud gun. So it's kind of pre pretty amazing. I'm not going to lie. I really love it. Right. So how many floors are there left? I think there's two floors left. We just need to get up there. Got to save Daisy. Hey, come back here. I've got the spud gun, so I can just, I can just mess people up. Can mess them up so much. There's so many arms, but my uh, my little storage crate is full, so we're probably gonna have to come back here at some point. But not today. Not today. We got too much to do today. I didn't see any components. This is bad. We're absolutely full of spuds, so you know what? We're just gonna like annihilate everybody. I I keep thinking to myself, oh, you know what? Maybe we should actually just stop with the spud gun and really just contain our ammo. But you know what? We're having too much fun with it. I can make potatoes like that, so I am not even gonna hold back. We're just gonna go for it and spray as many spuds as we possibly can. So I believe we need 10 components per thruster, so it's quite expensive. However, we've nearly got 20, so two more, and then we should be good to go. And this guy's dead. Is he going to drop one? I just fell. No, it's a circuit board. So I've, having, I've been having some issues with, um, yeah, with my world. So I tried to load it back up today, and uh, I couldn't open my world. I don't know if the world was corrupt. Luckily... Uh, every single day I make backups. You can actually grab the save file from uh, like the app data thing and uh, I've just been creating backups every day, so I'm super glad. Otherwise, I would have lost this world, which would have been really sad. So make sure when you get this game to take backups. I don't know if it's just because it's early access, so it might be, but you know what? It can't hurt to just make backups every now and again, so I'm super glad I did that, but... Yeah, we're coming to the end of this now. We're getting a lot more gas, which is lovely. I love a bit of gas. A lot more components. I think we've got enough components now, which is nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> Wee! Splat. Also, today, I kind of want to see if I could take on one of the big boss dudes. Uh, I'm yet to kill one of them, so they are on my list. They have been targeted. I think it's the sort of next boss that I really need to go at, so... Yeah, I really want to do that. But first, let's try and get ourselves a proper functioning speedboat. It should be quite fun this episode because we're not actually doing any farming. Like, sometimes it can get a bit boring doing the farming. But uh, I kind of wanted to take a break to kind of do something different. So um, after this episode, probably tomorrow, what I'm going to do, if the warehouse is out, I'm probably going to try and do that. Or we're going to build a base. I've, I've decided... I'm going to do a bunch of farming and we're going to start making our very first base on the scrap mechanic because we've made a farm. Now I kind of want to make myself a proper base uh, and a place to call home. And I feel like I'm going to build it like a proper house. We're going to go Minecraft style up in this uh, scrap mechanics. That's what we're going to do. We're going to go all blocky style and make ourselves a fabulous house. So they are all the components we need. Now let's head over to the little burn areas and get ourselves a few more of the embers. Actually, what I'll do to save weight is I'll just drop this off here and then we'll save a bit of fuel. We can always pick that up on the way back, which we will do. But the embers should just be over here. 
And we'll go and uh, do a little bit of farming. I mean, the best thing about getting all these embers is when you destroy the trees, you just get them in this form, which is absolutely lovely. Like, sometimes it can get a little bit laborious when you're smacking trees and you have to smack them to the next stage and the next stage. This, you smack them and you get embers. It's instant. I love it so much. Okay, we got ourselves about 60 embers. I'm going to kind of leave it there because I'm super excited to go back and start out our work on our little speedboat. I cannot wait to get out on the open ocean. The only problem is I've heard that the, uh, the thrusters are going to be super, super, like, guzzly. They, apparently, they love uh, gas, so I'm not sure how far we're going to go out today on our speedboat, but we will make one. If I can make two, then you never know. It might help out if we put them both on a low setting. And, uh, you know, but we have two of them. So we'll have to see. I'm still not sure what I'm going to build it out of yet. I kind of feel like I want to build it out of... Um, we have them floating barrels. You can get bubble wrap blocks on scrap mechanics. So I might make some of them. They're quite, like, gas heavy. Because you need oil to make them. They're purely just oil. So... And they really light, so I don't know. What I might do is just put a thruster on my bathtub. <laughs> that could be the boat. Can you imagine? That would be hilarious. All right. Well, we're pretty much home. Home sweet home. Let's go take this off. We'll start refining some of this scrap. I've only brought it back because I literally killed so many bots near the farm, so I thought it'd be a waste not to actually use this, so let's put this in there. The machine can get to work. And then we can start getting to work on our thrusters. So, we need to get ourselves 40 of these metal blocks. So, it's kind of like a stage 3 metal block. It's the last one, so they're quite... Mm, yes, they're going to take quite a lot of crafting. So, we're going to craft one of them. We're going to craft one of them. And so, we're going to need to craft pretty much all of these. Right, let's put some of this stuff away. As you can see, I've made a lot more chests, which quite happy about you know i'm not really the most organized person in the world but today we've we've been pretty organized so let's put some of this like fruit and uh fruit and veg away that we don't actually need i kind of really need everything else here probably not the ammo so we'll, we'll put the ammo away for now we'll keep uh, a stack on us because you know what i love the spud gun so we we love to use it anyway let's go grab all this metal we've just been converting all these scrap blocks which I don't know, it's coming pretty good, actually. One of the things that I really want to do today as well is try and get the cook bot, because I'm yet to make this bot. This is the dress bot uh, I really want to make, but we, we're nearer to making the cook bot. I could make it now, but I just want to make myself a speed bot. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's getting our very own vehicle, but on the water. So, you know what? We, our hunger can wait. It's, it's time to go boating, guys. So while everything's going, let's start having a look at the most sort of buoyant block compared to weight, because that's what obviously is going to be a big factor in this. So it looks like the wooden blocks is the most buoyant thing. Interesting. Now the bubble plastic block has one durability compared to this, which has lots it has less friction, but obviously when we're on a boat, we kind of want it to be durable. I was actually messing around with the bubble wrap before this and I accidentally whacked it with a hammer and it just completely destroyed it. So uh, I feel like what we should do is make ourselves some of these suckers. The only problem is look at how much they cost to make. Wow, wow. Anyway, we'll make the thrusters, see what materials we have over. If we have enough over to make it out of this uh, wood block, then uh, yeah, that is definitely the way to go. It looks like it is the most buoyant block in the game, and it's going to be the best way to make our speedboat. It's the most buoyant, and it's also the most durable. So it's going to last, and that's what we need. All right, the time has come. We can make ourselves two thrusters. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna take four minutes. Oh dear, that's that's a lot of resources right there. I, I cannot lose these uh, resources. Oh man. Okay, while these are going, uh, I'm gonna skip ahead until these are done. Uh, and I'm also gonna work on getting ourselves some of these wood blocks. And then I'll see you in the morning, guys, for our build. So my thrusters are done. I just kind of popped out quickly to see if we can get any more of these bad boys, these component kits, because 
We're going to need a few to kind of level up our thrusters and make them more efficient. So I just thought I'd pop out and see if we get the last couple of ones. And I missed every shot. Then drop one, please. <gasps> no. Okay. Drop one. Nope. It's going to be the theme, isn't it? We're coming out. We're not going to get any now. Okay, we got another one. That's good. So we got like two component cables out of there. I'm going to check this last building and then we will go back home and start construction. Now I've been sort of thinking about the, the shape of my speedboat and I kind of feel like I'm going to use the water sort of whatever they call it. Where, where are they? I've got one in my inventory. The stack crates actually. We could use them at the side. And then the main body out of the wood. But we'll see how buoyant the wood is. It says it's very buoyant. So I just need to kind of... <laughs> I just need to kind of see how, how um, you know, how it goes with all the heaviness. Because the first is going to be quite heavy. And uh, the sea is going to be quite heavy. So we'll see how it goes. This place is full of these guys. Spud gun is amazing. We are getting so many components right now. Drop another one. No. <laughs> Two in that chest. Oh, yeah. They're actually so easy to get once you get going. So depending on how many get in this building will really depend on how efficient our thrusters will be and how good our speedboat will be. Now, obviously, thrusters are very powerful. So I'm just trying to sort of... Level them up as much as I can, just to save my fuel. Obviously, if you get to the point where you're just stacked on fuel, you can crank it up as much as you want. But for today, I need to save that fuel. You know what? I can't be bothered walking down, so we're just going to jump off. <laughs> Our ship is like over there. I say ship. Our... Actually, can we scale down? Let me able to scale down. Let me see how good our parkour skills are. <laughs> 23 damage. That's not too bad. I was just going to jump off completely, but I managed just to get, managed to get off all right. So... Let's get back in Big Bertha and head back to the little mechanic station and then start construction. Now, we have 10, 13, and I've got a few more at home. So the bad thing about the craft pot is if you actually go out of a certain area, um, basically it stops crafting. Like the timer only carries on when you get back to like this rendered in area. Which kind of sucks, to be honest, because I've been out for, what, five minutes and it's still... Yeah, it's basically paused it. But uh, anyway, we got ourselves our two thrusters. Here they are. So out of 240 blocks of wood, you go through all the wood stages, so you get about 40 of these blocks. Uh, they look pretty awesome, I'm not going to lie. But it's time to use them and to see... Uh, you know, how good they are at floating. So I've got myself a load of these stack crates. These are two above the buoyancy of one of these stack crates. So I'm going to try to come up with a simple design for the boat without using too much wood. See if it's going to float. If not, then we will literally just have to try and tweak it, maybe add some more of these suckers on it, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm trying to make it symmetrical and, and trying to... I don't know, give it like arms. Um, I'm going to put the thrusters on each side here. Now, it doesn't matter that these are actually pushing into this block. It doesn't, doesn't make any difference whatsoever. Um, everything is symmetrical. So let's pop these thrusters down. And let's see. Look how much it costs. 10 to upgrade it each time. 10 to upgrade it. Holy crap. That is a lot. That is a lot. So I'm probably not going to waste that yet. We'll just, we'll notch them up to one. And uh, we'll do the turning, the suspension glitch at the front. Put it down. Put this down. We'll put one of them on top as well so it's even. Get ourselves our suspension. We'll use the bubble wrap to like house this thing. Kind of looks weird now. Oh, I don't really like that design. I don't really like that design. <sighs> mm. Anyway, we'll just test if it works. Make sure it works first. So let's take it off the lift. We'll hook this up. Make sure it turns. Well, this is such a simple little speedboat, but I cannot see us... I just can't see this working. I feel like once it becomes daytime, we're going to put this in the water and see how it floats. I feel like I'm going to need some of these stack crates, but 
We'll see what happens. All right, morning is here. This is the big moment to see if our tiny little speedboat will float. Will it go? Who knows? I've got them extra crates. So we will have a boat by the end of this. I just want to see uh, if we can make it as light as possible. But here goes nothing. Oh my goodness. Why is that not floating? <laughs> okay, we cannot do that then. <laughs> so, my next sort of idea is just to kind of use these. Uh, stick these on the side and let's see how these work or how this this is going to pan out. Um, okay, this is not really what I had in mind, but do you know what? Sometimes you got to tweak stuff. Okay, I've added a few more. Let's see what happens now. Okay. It's still quite heavy. She turns fine. Why is it so heavy at the th front? Ultra buoyant. Yeah, right. Okay. Okay, boys. Is it the seat? I think it's the seat. Let's put the seat further back. Maybe a little bit further back than that. It proper doesn't like the seat, but you know what? I don't care. I want a boat. We're scraping on the ground right now. She literally sinks. Is the game lying with them wooden blocks or what? Like, I've got the most buoyant thing in the game. This is really not what I envisioned at the start of this episode. <laughs> oh my goodness. I mean... Yeah, sure. Okay, well, let's, let's, let's actually put the thrusters on. I'm gonna fill them up with fuel. Uh, and we'll see what happens. I might work on the design a little bit. I'm not sure if it's actually the wooden blocks, but these blocks are the most buoyant things. That's what it says. Okay, we need to hook the switch up. Welcome to my submarine. Oh my god, look how slow it is. <laughs> look how slow it is. No, surely not. Okay. I... I I need to redesign this. I'm so confused though. I've used all of the blocks. Oh my goodness. If you take the thrusters out without removing the fuel, uh, you get rid of it. It just automatically deletes all of your fuel. <laughs> I've just lost like 20 fuel. Ah! Does this even float then without the thrusters? Is the thrusters are what's making it super heavy? So it is super buoyant. Okay, let's rework this design. Uh... <sighs> Okay, just give me give me a second, all right? I'm gonna rework this. All right, <laughs> I made a design that floats. The seat is way too heavy, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might have to make the thrusters on like a bearing, so the thrusters kind of you know help the thing sort of move. Or we could hook the suspension up to I don't know like a controller or something like that. I've really thought about it yet, but this is what I've come up with. So I've got the the thrusters on full. Uh, we've, we've got nine fuel, so let's just burn through it and see how long it takes me to go through nine fuel. Here we go. Let's see how fast it is as well. So these are all the most buoyant blocks in Scrap Mechanic Survival right now. <laughs> let's just see. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so slow. Scrap mechanic. Come on. No, it's already gone through three fuel. What? Oh, no. Oh, that is horrible. That is so bad. They need to do something about that. I know we're on, like, the worst efficiency, but... You know what? Let's just, let's just go for a ride in my bathtub. Oh, no. I removed the... I didn't remove the fuel out of this one. Now we're down to six fuel. Why do I keep doing this? They need to fix that as well. I wonder if what happens if we put a um, thrust on the, on the back of this boy. Oh, dear. You know what? Full send. Actually, you know, we're going to go big or go home. We're going to put two on. Maybe this is uh, this is how you're supposed to travel in Scrap Mechanic. On a bathtub. <laughs> Look, it's just automatically weighed down. Well, I'm pretty shocked about that. I don't know the way forward with the raft then. They've kind of... They've kind of made it ridiculous to, um, to kind of get around. So, I don't really know what the plan is, guys. Like, I guess we could just keep upgrading our thrusters, but, like, it, we should... I don't know, I feel like it should be better to say that's the amount that these cost. Look, 
We're in a bathtub. And there's still not really do- they, they can't even lift me off the ground. <laughs> what is going on? Oh no, we're just- we're out of gas. We've burnt through six gas. Just like that. I can't believe it. I am actually- I'm so gutted. I had high hopes for the thrusters, guys. I really did. I had such high hopes for the thrusters. Maybe we need more. Maybe we need to upgrade them. I guess in the next episode, I'll try and my best to get like, what? How many does it take for... Okay, it takes 10. So you either spend the 10 and get another thruster or you spend the 10 on this. Anyway, guys, that was my speedboat episode. I obviously would like to spend a lot longer on this, but it's going to take me at least three or four hours to get this many components to level them up to the max level. So the next episode, we will have an update on this. And hopefully by that time, we'll... The game will be released and we can start exploring some of the new stuff and go check out the warehouse. But I just kind of wanted to mess around in this video. Uh, I actually thought we could make a proper raft. Like... Anyone would think with thrusters and the most buoyant blocks in the game we could make a proper raft, but I might be missing something. I don't know. Leave a comment down below if you want me to change anything. Obviously, I'm gonna have to, have to try. Gonna have to try and get myself more of the buoyant blocks and work on this and tweak around. But whatever happens, we're gonna need a lot more fuel. We're gonna need to level these up to the max level. There's a lot of grinding to be done. But anyway, hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please smash like and I'll see you tomorrow for another scrap mechanic survival. Bye!